Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. This time I am going to attempt to make something of my own design. Usually when I make props, it's from movies or from video games, and I thought, why not make your own? Uh, recently I've been watching Evil Ted. If you've never seen Evil Ted and you call yourself a cosplay, there's something wrong with you. And in Evil Ted's show, he was making a medieval style helmet. I thought, I can make one of those. So I'm going to attempt to make my own design of a medieval style helmet. In particular, like the Crusader style. I think that looks kind of cool. So, let's get to foam forging.
and we are finished. Here's the end result. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, it's definitely unique in its own right. I purposefully chose something that was fairly simple. I didn't want to have to make a pattern like Evil Ted did. If by all means you want to make one like his, go for it. You'll probably need to make a pattern or get a pattern for it. This one, it's like making a bucket basically. Um, so it is fairly simple. I could have done some things like get rid of the texture on the inside. I was kind of lazy there. Um, especially since I spent like a lot of time putting texture on the outside of it, but I think it looks pretty cool. I do want to point out you don't see seams because they're covered by trim. Trim's a great way for you to cover up your mistakes or cover up those unsightly seams that may have little gaps in them and it actually kind of makes it just a little bit stronger. Um, the symbols and stuff on the sides, they're, they're both the same image. It's simply a griffin. Um, when I looked for images, I simply typed in heraldic symbols, that word. Heraldry is kind of like what the symbols they used to use on armor, on coats of arms, uh, and it's kind of all that stylized, turn sideways type stuff. Um, very simplistic looking. Uh, and I found one that I liked and that's that's kind of how I used it. I did make some modifications to it, like the wings I kind of changed and the tail I kind of changed, which is ultimately what you do when you're making your own stuff. You, you adjust. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with it. It does fit. Just not very comfortably. Um, I didn't measure here to here, so this has about a one and a half head to my four or five head. Uh, and think about that when you're measuring. Also, I got a big nose that kind of sticks out, so it looks like this on the inside. It's pushing pretty hard up against there. So measure your head good before you actually build one of these to get a good measurement. Go around your nose to include that widest part of your head. Maybe you'll try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your medieval crusader style helmet building skills so much so that they mistake you for an actual forger and think that you can build all of their armor for them. To your friends. Maybe you'll get some <laughs> and inevitably they're gonna ask you how'd you make that? You can give them one of these tell them much props. Okay. <gasps>